Romania hasn't seen anything like this since the 1990s. The government's support for a controversial gold mine in the Transylvanian village of Rosio, Montana, has seen thousands take to the streets in protest in recent weeks. One of the demonstrators here is Bogdan, who last went out in protest 20 years ago in the early days of Romania's democracy. What concerns me the most is the way the government has gone about this whole project, by creating a special law that allows one company to trample over the law. They created a law that allows for the exploitation of the Romanian state. It's blatantly illegal. The company in question is the Canadian firm Gabriel Resources, which owns an 80% stake in the Rosia Montana Gold Corporation. Bogdan sees this fight against the multinationals as akin to the fight against communism. I'm afraid of my son in 15 years' time asking me what I did when people fought to save Rosia Montana. I don't want to say that I stayed at home. Over a 16-year extraction period, the Canadian company promises to create 900 jobs, but to extract 300 tonnes of gold will use 12,000 tonnes of cyanide a year. Four mountains will be levelled and environmentalists and archaeologists warn against major pollution risks and irreversible damage to unique Roman-era mining galleries. And the demonstrators blame the government. Having promised to block the project before coming to power, they stand accused of duplicity. It's the straw that broke the camel's back. We always hoped people would make the right decisions on our behalf, but it didn't turn out like that. The Prime Minister Victor Ponta did suggest that the project would be dropped quickly, but Parliament aren't due to make a final decision until November. Until then, the demonstrators won't be backing down.